if you're looking for ways to keep the little monsters entertained this half term, of course, you're, there's only one person, never mind Ghostbusters, who are you <laughs> going to call? Juliet Sear. And she's here with some frightfully delicious Halloween <laughs> treats. Well, you're the go-to when it comes well, to it. Well, yeah, I hope, I hope so. I mean, I love doing things like this. I love, like, gathering some parties. Me and, like, too. Halloween is a perfect time for baking. It's almost as good as Christmas for me. Yeah. You can get really creative. And, obviously, half terms here, so you can get creative with some Halloween treats. So where are um, we starting, Jules? So we're going to start off with these cupcakes. So these are our vampire bite cupcakes. So no, when you come in, because we get... We you're going to go. For arts so, and crafts, yeah. it's food, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's like where food meets, uh, meets craft. So we're going to start off by... We're going to do a hidden centre in here. We're going to put some hidden blood. Oh, yes. So you've got... You can do it with an apple corer or a knife or a spoon. So you want to take a little bit out of the middle of your cupcake, first of all. So not this? Not that yet. No, oh, you're okay. going to be needing that for the next bit. So you can do anything, like, a little apple core is quite handy. Oh, I've just did a knife, look. Oh, nice. Or you can do a spoon, even. Spoon it out, look. Can I, borrow, I think oh, apple no, no, core no, no, is no. the way forward for me. It, apple core is yeah, quite nice and neat, but a spoon works quite well, a little teaspoon. So in the centre, Jules, so right? Just so roughly the in the middle. Now. So, yeah, inject it with um, your bloody All the way, jam, all the way so. up, or just Yeah, all halfway. the way up. So what we've got here, we've got some strawberry jam, and if you want to make it really extra gruesome, we've got a little bit of red food colouring in there. So I do it... All the way up, but oh, keep no. a bit of the sponge and just plug it on the top at the okay. end. Okay. So just to kind of like cover it over, like that. Oh, you're and so then I've got a little bit. So I've got no. I've, I've messed this one up. To Have be you? fair. You've got. A, you've got. Do you want another one? Oh no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, just put a bit of jam on the edge. Sorry about that. It's going to cover it now. Oh okay. Don't right. you worry. So now we've got a lovely. Is this how they make donuts? What with the inject? Yeah, injecting it in yeah. the middle. Yeah, similar idea. Well, can you make donuts for us one day? Yeah. I love jam. I love. We did have those donuts in the air fryer. Yeah, yeah, but they weren't like they were like. Mm, I don't want to chat. <laughs> oh, now oh. you tell me. <laughs> oh right, it was last oh, time. Jam but, oh, donut. Oh, they're lovely. I love a jam <laughs> donut. <laughs> so we've got some cream cheese frosting yeah. now. You want when you when you do the topping, it's all about the angle and the pressure. So you yeah. want to don't ever come from the side when you're trying to do oh, a whipping okay. topping because you're going to get a, an off centre swirl. Oh, okay. So always come from directly above. Come nice um, and close to the cake. Begin squeezing yeah. in the centre. Wrap mm -hmm. around to the edge and then continue squeezing, oh my God, swirling so on the inside and then lift away. How do you oh, make yours the... Yeah. So good. How do so, you make the frosting, Jules? This is, a, this is a basic butter cream, but we've added some cream cheese to it, room temperature cream and cheese. You can try it now. You can try it. Well, no, no, we can do blood now. So oh, now, so then, it's got to, you've got to do the vampire bite, so you've got your chopstick, Put a couple of holes in the side. Yeah. Um, it gets a bit messy, so you can wipe off your... So more blood. More blood. Oh, yeah. And then you just take your... So I've got a little couple of holes there. And yeah. <laughs> and then you just kind of, like, fill the holes so it looks like a vampire's, oh, yeah. like, oh, come and bitten out of there. So you've got it like that, and then, obviously, when you cut into them, you've got the hidden centre that people don't know about, so they make a mess over themselves. Um, oh, lovely. And they bite into it, so you've got inside... Oh. Did you just see me lit that? I'm so sorry. I'm getting right into this. <laughs> so then you've got your... Home, but there you go, look at that. I I'm on the telly. I forget that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a bit like a jammy donut, isn't it? So that's that. Oh, so it's it? a really nice idea to do with the kids in the holidays. You can bake them yourselves or you can... They're delicious, aren't they, with mm. the cream cheese frosting. Mm. Or you can even, if you don't want to get baking, just buy some cupcakes from the supermarket and just decorate them. <laughs> 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 You're enjoying that? Ooh. Really nice, thank you. <laughs> so the next one we're going to do... <laughs> It's a ghost. <laughs> that was a ghost then. Mm. Oh. We're going to do some biscuits now. Oh. So I've got a, I've got a cookie dough. That's quite the sugar here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It nice. is with all the jam as well. That is lovely. So these are really nice thumb thumbprint biscuits. Really easy to do. It's just cookie dough. So I've got a basic vanilla cookie dough here. Yeah. Make them into balls and then just use your thumbs and press them like this. That's so so easy. yeah, really easy. And you can do any any dough recipe for this. Really, you could even again, if you didn't want to go the whole way and make it from scratch, you can get the cookie dough in the supermarkets, can't you? So just roll it into a ball and then make the thumbprint, and that's going to give you a little indentation so that then we can do our spider creation here. I've never done cookie dough before. Is that how it comes, or do you add do you add, do you add milk? Water no, that, that's just that's it. So it's kind of just just like a kind of like pliable dough. Uh -huh. So then we just bake those um, 180 for about sort of eight minutes or so. Just put them in there. 180 again, never lets you down. And then yeah. you've got another like, 180. And that's so we've got some Nutella here. So now we're going to get creating to make these lovely spider biscuits. So you've got your little um, indentation there. Yep. So using it, some it, Nutella for some glue. Look at that. Look. 
Yeah. So put that in there. So you could use anything you wanted. Great words, Nutella for glue. Yeah, how this happy. And then we've got some little spidery legs. So we've just made these by um, tying knots in the end of your laces. So this will keep the kids busy for like at least half an hour, <laughs> you know, like with their little fingers trying to do the knots. Oh, gonna, so that... The kids are going to love this. Yeah, yeah it's, this it's so really nice fun and creative. So I've got do... a 17 year old, he'd still love still... doing this. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, we're going to make some spiders yeah. now. Yeah. So this just so literally nice. make. He liked Nutella. Yeah, he loves Nutella. Yeah. He has Who it doesn't? On, on toast. It's amazing, isn't it? Nutella yeah. on toast. But you could do anything. You could use peanut butter. That goes nicely well with chocolate, doesn't it? No. Mm -hmm. um, so anything really, just to stick it, or even jam, whatever you've got, really. Um, so you stick your legs on, and then pop on. So I've got one of those chocolate balls here. Yeah. But you could even use like do miniature ones if you want, like the little malt balls. Pop that on the top. Oh, nice, Jules. This is so it's fun, nice. isn't it? Yeah. And then more more Nutella for glue. And we've got these little eyeballs here that you can just buy these in the supermarket. Oh, I didn't know these were. The... Oh my word. <laughs> I didn't know those were those ones. Yeah, yeah with all that, it's all like smooth and um, creamy in the middle, ones. isn't it? Those you bit nothing out of me for the next two minutes. That was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I've done oh, mine. Yeah. Look, so, I'm all over it. So they're yeah. really, really fun to so put the little eyes Anderson, on. You're so good at stuff. You're really like that. good at that, aren't you? Do you enjoy doing this, though? I love it's doing fun, stuff isn't it? like this. Yeah. Well done. So, so how'd you get the eyes on? So just a bit of Nutella on the back. You don't need a lot. Just kind of like a little dab like that. And little then dab just, of chocolate. Just place it on there like that. And it looks quite fun to do like a, a little selection and make them look all sort of like crazy and have their eyes going in different directions. Like just make them. You could have a little Halloween party, couldn't you? Yeah. I love Halloween. Oh, I love Halloween. I just love dressing up. Yeah, same. It's, it's brilliant, fabulous. isn't it? So they're really fun, really easy to make. Um, so I've got another idea over here now. I absolutely love this. So this one What's this? is my pumpkin platter. Oh. It's basically a collage of delicious food created and you look when you look at it it's like a pumpkin face that's, that's so a, clever it's really clever it's really visual especially if you're having like a big gathering so the way you do it you start off by adding your face detail first and then you um build up all the different sort of lines of the i love the fact that you put the music yeah. like with the pumpkin as well <laughs> so nice yeah. So what have you got? Explain the elements of this to so us. So I've used, you can use absolutely anything you like. Obviously, I've gone for kind of like orangey yellow tones. <laughs> and I've gone for like a row of crackers. We've got carrots there. We've got some corn um, pretzels, some red Leicester cheese, some apricots. That so anything lovely. like that. So it kind of got that sort of like autumnal palette. I um, love so it. So you can't literally, but what you want to do is make sure that you do start with the face first. Yeah. And then just build around it. Um, and then you can... You've absolutely smashed this. Yeah. It's nice, isn't do, it? Do it reminds me a little bit of, you know, the, the butterboard plateau we did, which yes. is really, you know, I was a bit sceptical about, but actually it's really lovely when you get into it. Exactly. It's the same as that. I yeah. Really like it. And it's really nice, yeah, and it, obviously you can sort of, like, use more of your savoury treats on that. So, yeah. um, yeah, everyone needs to come in and, like, demolish it now, have a fight, Julia, fight for the butter. Thank you so much. You're Thanks, amazing. Thank you. Uh,